Hello, welcome to an overview of the Windows 8 themes. I'm Joshua and for the next 10 days I have 10 themes that will be previewed for you guys to decide whether you guys like to personalize them with your PC. So today's the featured theme and before we start if you'd like to go ahead and see more of these videos you can hit the subscribe button before or after I start. You can also find updates for each videos I create on Google Plus, Twitter, or Flippin' Windows Facebook fan page. So today's theme is the Steam versus Windows 8. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the interface to see if it belongs on your desktop. Beginning with the wallpaper, I'd have to say it really represents the theme's name. Down below on the taskbar, you can see a noticeable difference in the interface, giving it a cool look from the start button down to the right of the system clock. Right clicking on the system clock in this theme, it has changed to meet the same uniform look of the theme itself. Right clicking on the taskbar to get to the task manager, the window has matched the same color and there is a hint of the color of the font for the same theme. Opening the file explorer on the taskbar gives us an in-depth look at the window interface. Going to the user directory, the icons have not changed but they can be downloaded through installing third party icon installers. Going to the system properties on the left you can see the slide menu has an unchanged interface but the main property interface has the gray background and the white gray font. The explore frame itself with the forward and back buttons also matches the theme as well as the menu tab options. The top right options for minimize, maximize, and close blends perfectly with the Steam interface. With the third party start menu, the start button has many options in the theme. You can choose from a located area in the theme zip file um, while you go ahead and download it. Lastly, the theme itself has theme interface options and you can find the theme once you added the themes to the theme folder mentioned here in this video um, if you guys want to go ahead and add themes to the theme directory. Under the personalized option by right clicking on the desktop includes three options for this particular theme pack. Theme versus which is being featured currently. Steam versus simple shown here only difference is that you'll see a simplified taskbar. Steam versus center shown here this option only has one difference and that's the pin icons are formed in the middle of the taskbar and they're more spaced out. So since that ends this overview for the Steam vs Windows 8, I'd like to go ahead and thank you for watching and if you guys find a good theme for yourself in the next coming videos, go ahead and add them to your desktop. Also the links for each theme will be in the download part where the about tab is in this video. All directions for applying this theme is going to be in the zip file. If you guys have any questions in regards to that, look at the directions first. Don't forget to go ahead and extract them and add the theme files to the theme folder from the video that I had shown previously right here if you guys want that link. The only way to go ahead and use third party themes you guys is to go ahead and install a third party theme patcher and I have a video on how to do that if you guys like to go ahead and look at that video right here just so you guys do it right. So again if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you want another theme, please wait for the next one, which is going to be coming out tomorrow or at the end of this video. Just look at the previous Windows theme. That's it, guys. Glad you enjoyed this video on your one-stop place for Windows tech and customization. And don't forget to subscribe to Flippin' Windows so we can all grow together. Until more content arrives, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.